You can now get a 30-day trial to experience The Athletic for free. Visit the link in the description below to try it now. Nearly 1,300 days on from that calamitous Champions League final in Kiev, Loris Karius remains defined by a single game. He has never played another competitive match for Liverpool, and he never will. But what's happened to him since that fateful night? Long before those mistakes, Karius had become the youngest keeper ever to play in the Bundesliga, after being handed his debut by Thomas Tuchel at 19. He played 95 more times for Mainz, keeping 32 clean sheets and represented Germany's under-21s. Jurgen Klopp had watched his development closely at his former club and believed that he would fulfil his potential at Anfield. Personality-wise, he couldn't have been more different to the player that he was brought in to replace. Carriers had an array of tattoos, an affinity for fashion and model good looks. He hung out in Miami with Justin Bieber and had a TV star girlfriend. Mignolet, in contrast, kept his head down and lived the quiet life. Now, of course, it should not be forgotten that Carriers helped Liverpool to get to Kiev starting all 13 Champions League games and keeping six clean sheets. But there were alarm bells. There had been concerns the previous season, during his performance away to Bournemouth, and when the first leg of the semi-final against Roma at Anfield was still goalless, he lost the flight of an Alexandra Kolarov strike that he unconvincingly helped onto the crossbar. In the crazy second leg, he also gifted Edin Dzeko a goal that made it 2-2 on the night early in the second half by pushing Stefan El Shawari's shot straight out to him. It was a harbinger of what was to come, and that final in 2018 was the last time that he was seen in Liverpool red, making his tearful apologies to the fans after the game and being consoled by Jamie Carragher. When he returned to Melwood for pre-season that July, Jurgen Klopp told Karius that they were starting afresh but the psychological scars of Kiev remained, and the spotlight was unforgiving. Even mistakes caught on camera during the warm-up ahead of pre-season games were teased mercilessly across social media. Teammates also felt that Karius did not help himself by releasing a compilation video on Instagram from his summer holiday in Los Angeles, as he dived into a swimming pool, played table tennis, and ate ice cream. Behind the scenes, plans had long since been in place to buy a new goalkeeper, and Liverpool had initially inquired about Alisson that January, before finally agreeing a fee with Roma six months later. Klopp was going to keep Carius as the backup and sell Mignolet. But despite strong interest from Italy's Napoli, the club's £10 million valuation of the Belgium was not met, so in late August 2018, the decision was made to offload Carius instead. Liverpool pocketed a £2.25 million fee for a two-year loan to Besiktas. It was also agreed that they would pay £7.25 million to make the move permanent in 2020 if certain performance criteria were met. So the move to Turkey offered a fresh start. But Karius' time there was turbulent. He made 35 appearances for Besiktas in 2018-19 as they finished third. But his form was blighted by mistakes, including a deflected cross which dipped over him against Malmo and a long-range Sarsborg goal which caught him hopelessly off his line. In March, he was publicly criticised by Besiktas's manager, Genel Gunesh, a former goalkeeper himself. Later that year, a calamitous misjudgment against Slovan Bratislava would see a goalkeeper's punt bounce over Karius, another goal conceded, and yet again, the rest of the world pointing and laughing. Something is wrong with his electricity, motivation and enthusiasm. It's been like that since the beginning, Gunesh said. Around the same time, Karius was asking FIFA to take action against Besiktas after it emerged that he was owed four months' wages and he would end up terminating his loan early, in May 2020. It's a shame it comes to an end like this, but you should know that I've tried everything to solve the situation without any problems, Karius posted on social media. Back at Liverpool, officials always felt that Karius was unfairly treated in Istanbul. The fact is that Besiktas don't want to buy him. It was too much money for them, so they wanted to create a situation where him staying wasn't an option, one senior source told The Athletic. Karius' return to Merseyside last summer proved to be brief. In late September, he joined Union Berlin on a season-long loan back in his native Germany. But rather than remind his countrymen of his quality, Karius spent most of last season warming the bench, playing second fiddle to 34-year-old Andreas Lutz. He described his plight as extremely bitter. He was a bit unlucky during his time here, German football journalist and author Christoph Biermann told The Athletic. 
When Unian brought in two keepers last summer, everyone expected that Karius would become the number one. But he was the last to arrive, and that meant Lutz had his chance. And life was difficult off the field too. One of the attractions of Unian's offer was the chance to be close to his then-girlfriend, Sofia Tomella, a former winner of the German version of Strictly Come Dancing, who was living in Berlin. As it was, the relationship deteriorated during the season, and in June, Karius confirmed that the two had parted. Where the road back is for him remains uncertain. His contract expires next summer, and although there were offers during the recent pre-season, notably from Basel, he could not agree personal terms. Effectively, Karius has written off the first half of his 2021-22 season, and he will train under the guidance of goalkeeping coach John Achterberg until January at least. Three and a half years after that Champions League final, he finds himself as Liverpool's fourth-choice goalkeeper, still in search of his redemption and a way of changing the narrative that surrounds him. Today's video was sponsored by Manscaped, and I'm here to tell you a spooky story with a moral about using the right tools for the job. That's right, nothing says Halloween like real blood. Avoid that by using the Lawnmower 4.0. It features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce those pesky grooming accidents, and it's waterproof. Hey, you know what else I'm afraid of? Nose hairs tickling my face under my mask. I hate it. So I use the Weed Whacker, Manscaped's own nose and ear hair trimmer, providing proprietary skin safe technology that helps prevent nicks, snags, and tugs. There's nothing better than whacking the heck out of those weeds in my nose. So, join 2 million men worldwide and get 20% off plus free shipping with the code TIFO at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code TIFO at manscaped.com. And feel good, not spooky, this Halloween. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic brings you the best sports journalism in the world in a personalized experience, connecting you with the stories and teams that you care about the most. There's coverage of 13 sports, plus direct access to world-class journalists through live Q&As, discussions, and podcasts. Not to mention, it's all ad-free. And you can try it now for free for 30 days by clicking the link in the description.